Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about sports, legends, and everything in between. Today, I have some sad news to share with you. George McGinnis, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, has passed away at the age of 72. George McGinnis was a star in both the American Basketball Association, ABA, and the National Basketball Association, NBA, and he was known for his power, skill, and charisma. He won two ABA championships with the Indiana Pacers, and he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2017. In this video, I want to pay my respects to George McGinnis and his legacy and share with you some of his achievements, highlights, and memories. George McGinnis was born on August 12, 1950, in Indianapolis, Indiana. He grew up playing basketball at Washington High School, where he led his team to a state championship in 1969. He was named Mr. Basketball of Indiana, and he was considered one of the best high school players in the country. He then attended Indiana University, where he played for one season under coach Bob Knight. He averaged 29.9 points and 14.7 rebounds per game, and he was named an All-American. George McGinnis decided to turn pro after his sophomore year, and he joined the ABA's Indiana Pacers in 1971. He quickly became one of the best players in the league, and he formed a dominant trio with Mel Daniels and Roger Brown. He led the Pacers to two ABA titles in 1972 and 1973, and he was named the co-MVP of the league in 1975, along with Julius Irving. He averaged 27.7 points and 14.9 rebounds per game in his four seasons with the Pacers, and he was a four-time All-ABA selection. George McGinnis then moved to the NBA, and he signed with the Philadelphia 76ers in 1975. He teamed up with Irving, and he continued to be a prolific scorer and rebounder. He averaged 23 points and 12.6 rebounds per game in his three seasons with the 76ers, and he was a three-time All-NBA selection. He also helped the 76ers reach the NBA Finals in 1977, where they lost to the Portland Trail Blazers in six games. George McGinnis then returned to the Indiana Pacers in 1978 after they joined the NBA. He played for two more seasons with the Pacers, and then he finished his career with the Denver Nuggets in 1982. He retired with career averages of 20.2 points and 11 rebounds per game, and he was one of the few players to have his number retired by both the Pacers and the 76ers. He was also one of the few players to be inducted into the Hall of Fame without being selected as an all-star in the NBA. George McGinnis died peacefully on November 28, 2023, surrounded by his family and friends. He is survived by his wife, Linda, his three children, George Jr., Michelle, and Evan, and his seven grandchildren. He will be dearly missed by his fans and colleagues and by the basketball community. He leaves behind a rich and impressive legacy and a lasting impact on the game. I want to end this video with one of my favorite quotes by George McGinnis, which I think sums up his spirit and his message. He said, basketball is not just a game. It's a way of life. It's a way of expressing yourself. It's a way of connecting with others. It's a way of making a difference. One, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed learning more about George McGinnis and his funeral. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sports content. Also, let me know in the comments what are your favorite memories or moments of George McGinnis or any other thoughts you have about him. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe and happy.